I'm going to talk to you about olive oil. I've recently discovered, although I've always used it on my hair, I've recently discovered other ways to use it and how great it is. Um, so I'm going to tell you about those now. Um, I just wanted to say first that I'm really, really happy with how many of you guys have been watching my videos and how many of you guys have subscribed. So thank you so much for that. It means a lot to me and it's really lovely to see. So thank you very much. Um, Okay, so the olive oil thing. I've always used olive oil on my hair. Well, I've used it for about two years on my hair um, just to give it lots and lots of nourishment and moisture. And the way I use it is that I heat it up in the microwave in a little pot and then I, um, only for about sort of like 10, 20 seconds, not longer than that because you don't want to burn yourself, obviously. Um, and then I, I smother my hair in it. It's not a lot of olive oil, just enough to coat the hair. Um, and I put it all over as well. Um, and moisturize it into my scalp as well, that's really good for it. And then I leave it in for as long as possible. Sometimes I leave it in overnight if I pop a, like, a, pop a shower cap on it or something to leave it on overnight. Um, and then I wash it out and it's always really lovely and soft the next day. You have to excuse if there's any background noise. Um, it's the people that live above me, they're quite noisy sometimes. Um, anyway, um, so here we go. I've done a little bit of research um, of why it's beneficial to the hair. And so I'm gonna read that out to you now. I've made lots of notes. <laughs> um, okay, so it helps with dandruff. If you've got lots of dandruff, it helps to cure dandruff um, or gives you less dandruff, if that makes sense. Yeah, it does, <laughs> I think. Um, so it moisturises the scalp. So as I've said, if you um, smooth it into your scalp and massage your scalp through, that's really, really good. Um, it obviously moisturises the scalp so there's less dandruff or, you know, flaky bits of skin. Oh, that's a lovely thought. <laughs> but, you know, we all get dandruff from time to time. Um, the next thing is it works really well as a serum. Um, because if you've got flyaways, and you know, especially in the winter, um, your your hair is prone to kind of frizz a little bit more. So it helps a lot with the um, with the flyaways and things like that that are quite visible. Um, so you just put a tiny, tiny, tiny bit on your hands and just rub your hands through and smooth it onto your hair. And that helps get rid of flyaways and things like that. Um, it also creates a lot of shine to your hair when you use it as a uh, hot oil treatment like I do. Um, because it's so moisturising to your hair, that really helps. Um, it also helps with manageability because it's so moisturising and nourishing to your hair. It helps by making it softer, shinier um, and just more manageable. It's just less frizzy, things like that. It's brilliant. Um, it also, um, if like, I, I don't do this, but I, I suppose you could, I'd just be a little bit worried that it's a little bit, um, I don't know, a little bit greasy if I did do this. Um, but I did also read that if you, if you stop using normal conditioner and just use the olive oil as a conditioner after you shampooed and then wash it out afterwards, although I, I don't know, my only problem with that is the reason I do it before is because um, I use shampoo on my hair afterwards so that gets all the oils out. But um, anyway, it says that you could use it instead of a conditioner so that eradicates having extra silicon and coating on your hair afterwards and also it gets rid of sulfates. So that's a really good benefit. Um, sorry, that's, that's a benefit <laughs> of not using conditioner and replacing it with olive oil. Although I'd... I'd I find it hard to un understand how it wouldn't make your hair greasy afterwards. Um, as I always shampoo my hair after I've had the hot oil in my hair, so, you know, it gets rid of the greasiness, but I don't know, I suppose it does work. Um, okay, and so by pure accident, um, I use DHC, um, like, um, cleanser on my face, it just, it's an oil um, from Japan, I believe, um, which is like all the craze at the moment. And you you rub it over your makeup and it takes your makeup off because it disint disintegrates the makeup. And it's also brilliant because you only need to wash it off with water um, because it, 
it's water soluble, which I find really interesting because how can it be an oil if it's water soluble? But anyway, it's very, very good. Um, and by pure accident the other day, I'd ran out and thought, oh, I really don't want to use, um, I don't want to be rubbing my makeup off with um, anything that's going to be harsh on my skin because I've got quite sensitive skin. Um, and I kept, I always keep, I'll just show you, this is my olive oil. This is from Asda, £1.90 something. Um, so that's what it is. Um, I saw this in my bathroom and thought, oh, I'll, I'll try that because that's oil as well. It's bound to just get it off. And it did, and it worked wonders. I, I take perhaps a 10p sized amount in my hand and rub it all over my face and it just gets rid of all the makeup and then I just wash it with um, face wash afterwards and water and it gets rid of the oiliness so it's really really good. Um, I did also just want to say that this is extra virgin olive oil which is more beneficial um, I was going to say if you're using it in this way but I think it's more beneficial anyway because it was the first pressing of the olives um, so it's it's the goodest part of the olives coming out um, so it's always best to get extra virgin and I've also know I've also um, read somewhere that it's very good to get it if it's in a dark bottle in a dark glass bottle because um, the light can't get to get to it and apparently light can kind of um, react with the olive oil in some way but I, I don't know I haven't noticed that and I, I do normally keep it in a cupboard so you know it, I haven't noticed anything bad, um, any kind of bad reactions to the light. So, um, yes, I use it as a cleanse now, which is brilliant. And then my face was a little bit shiny after my moisturise, um, sorry, after my face wash. And I thought, oh, well, I'll try a little bit as a moisturiser. So I literally put like a pea-sized amount in my hand, um, rubbed it all over. I've got quite oily skin anyway, so I never need too much moisturiser, but you might need a little bit more um if you don't if you have quite dry skin um and i rubbed it all in my hands and then um massaged it onto my face my skin the next day was so nice i really really like my skin the next day um so yeah i d definitely recommend doing that as well using it as a moisturizer the best thing about olive oil is that it's all natural ingredients you do not have to worry especially if you've got sensitive skin you do not need to worry about um what you what you're putting on your face there's no chemicals in it um so that's obviously a really good um factor to it as well but i also read some stuff on how it's good for your skin so i'm going to tell you that now it's a really good moisturizer it said um and it's very good for healing trapped lips although i don't think i'd want to use it on my lips just because it doesn't have a horrible smell to it but it has a smell to it and i i just i don't know i wouldn't really want to um, but I, I would do that if I was just, you know, at home and wanted to get rid of chap lips, but I, I don't think I'd do it going out anywhere. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely try that at home sometime. Um, I also read that it's really good for your nails. Um, if you soak your nails in olive oil for 20 minutes, it helps strengthen your nails and they appear more shiny. So I think that's a brilliant tip as well. Um, and then it says... If you put it on your face as a moisturiser, it gives your face a really lovely glow. Um, and I think, yes, that's all it says for actually putting it on the skin. Um, but I also read about how you should actually have it in your diet as well. I always, anything that I ever fry, I don't like fry food if you know what I mean, but when I'm making, say, um, like spaghetti or something like you know bolognese um obviously you fry the vegetables first um so i always use olive oil in sort of when i'm you know when i'm using the frying pan i always use olive oil um so i have a fair amount in my diet but perhaps not as much as i could have because it says that if you've got unhealthy hair and skin it can be down to the fact that you've got a poor diet so if you start using olive oil in your diet, it will provide your body with vitamin B complex that is, um, sorry, that is the thing that you need to make sure you have healthy hair and skin, as well as other vitamins, obviously. Um, so I might try and use a little bit more. It does say that you should use up to, it's recommended to use two tablespoons a day. I just think that's a bit excessive and I think I'd feel a bit sick afterwards, but 
I, I could almost try it one day, I don't know, if I'm feeling brave. Um, and it says you can do things like spreading it on your bread instead of butter or mixing it with your butter and having it um, on your bread and also mixing it in with your salad as well. Um, so there's that kind of stuff you can do. But I don't know, I feel a bit sick if I had two tablespoons of, of oil. Um, but then I suppose it's a more natural oil than... It's a less fatty oil, I suppose, than other oils, but still. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's everything I got. And I just wanted to share it with you because it was a really, really um, lovely discovery to realise how nice it was on my skin. Um, so I really highly recommend that. Thank you very much for watching. See you all again soon. Bye-bye.